Hey guys, quickly before the video starts, if you want to know more details about the right check, the positives and the negatives, you can skip to 4 minutes and 38 seconds of the video. And here are the two builds I used during this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you in the next one. Enemy contact. Contact with enemy. Enemy in sight. Target in sight. Recon standing by. Repeat UAV online. Contact with enemy. Friendly shock RC is ready. Changing map. Hey guys, for today's video, for everyone that watched the Garena Masters, you might be wondering why are the pro players suddenly choosing to use the Rytek over the DLQ in the Garena Masters? 
So I won't get into too much of the statistics, but more on the practical side. Let's first talk about the downsides of the Ritek. First is the magazine size, it only has 5 bullets, but at the end of the day when you're in the pro scene you only really need 2 to 3. Number 2 is the wall penetration. Now this one's the biggest downside I think for the Ritek when you're trying to go for wall bank kills, however this can easily be countered if you know how to control the Ritek's recoil. Let's talk about the advantages of using the Ritek over the DLQ current meta sniper. Number 1 it has the faster fire rate, number 2 it has no bolt animation sound. Since it's not a bolt action snipe, it has one of the fastest switch animations in the game. Anyways enough talking, let's get into the gameplay. 